What's up YouTube, it's Louis here, I hope you're all well. Today we're going to be looking at Quant, thank you guys for being patient and waiting for these updates. Now I know I haven't been able to make them over the past few days, YouTube was playing up, I don't know why, it took me two hours or three hours to get out two videos to you guys yesterday on HBAR and Elrond. It uploaded and deleted itself, oh, it was an absolute mess, but today I'm bringing you these videos. I just had a mentorship lesson with a new student of mine, thank you to that student who's now supporting the channel of course. If you guys appreciate all the content, I am just trying to do my best for you guys and trying to keep you informed as much as possible, as much as I can. If you really appreciate that, then give the videos a thumbs up, it really helps the channel grow and get out the content to more like-minded people like us if you want to, to continue to support the channel it would be great if you wanted to join the crypto chat right now it's at a crazy discount your first month is at 25 pounds for your first month and 40 pounds onwards you can leave at any time just let me know in advance and we'd get you out of the chat for that next following month perfect let's get into the video so quant What's going on in the weekly time frame? How are we gauging this market? Well, we know that a very significant key level that we were sitting at for a very long time and holding was at $150. This was the level that we did want to see hold, but we were prepared if we ever lost this, that we would come down to around $85. And we did that with this weekly candlestick to the bottom. Now you lost a, 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 a previous swing low. So technically you've now made a weekly lower low. This is potentially a weekly bear market, something that we're saying on the Bitcoin chart. However, Bitcoin, although it's now weekly bearish, technically weekly bear market, I don't believe it's a longer term one. I think we're still in a monthly bull market. I just think at the moment you have to say once you lost that 55 weekly EMA with uh, bearish engulfing on the Bitcoin chart and you lost key structural lows on the weekly time frame. we now have to be weekly bearish and of course whenever that happens it's usually a weekly bear market so this is what we're anticipating right now so first of all um, if we now move over to the daily time frame I think we could see this a bit clearer we had this uh, some sort of descending triangle over here I think we met our technical target we've actually had quite a few descending triangles let me get that target back up where is it? There we go. So yeah, from the top over here, the top of the triangle, back down to support, lost the support, obviously go short and your technical target 106 was met. We did obviously roll down a bit lower. That was just telling you that we we're going to come down to there, maybe have a short term bounce before continuation down, which we had. But the level that we were looking at was $85. Our target was met. And now we're in this range of $85 to $150. So basically a big range. And that's why we saw quick movement a lot of momentum because there's no key levels of support and resistance between 150 and 85 of course you can say 100 but obviously look you would have dropped 50 dollars already and that would have been obviously a uh, negative drop to the downside now i'm going to try and gauge the market for you guys in my last video if you remember we were basically saying how 70 dollars was a technical target now a lot of people on the channel in the comments down below, we're talking about this head and shoulders and of course it played out. So we now need to get a technical target to see have we met the target out of this. So I'm going to draw the neckline now, just like that. You can see we're holding support, holding support. And then obviously you came into this um, apex over here with that descending triangle and we lost this uh, neckline of the head and shoulders. You can see that this is a valid line because it's got taps of resistance and support. So we lost that. Now we're in a technical target to the downside. We need to find that. So we measure from the highest point body back to the neckline. Break that and you can see that your technical target. Let's get that exact. Let's go to the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame. Yeah, so it's a bit too high, a bit overexcited right there. <laughs> but let's get that exact for you. There we go. Go to the daily. We'll move that to the breakout over here. And you can see our technical target when we broke out was in and around $70. So we're going to call $70. Why? Because this is actually a technical target out of, uh, out of um, this loss of support, something we said on the channel once we lost this low down here, because this is actually a fib retracement. You put in a low down here and you came all the way up from 111 all the way up to 100, uh, 234, a crazy bounce. Was this your dead cap bounce? Well, actually, we can actually check that for you. So just before I give you a target to the downside, I'm going to measure from the swing high to the low. Yeah, 
dead cat bounce. You come to the 050, fail to get above the 050 and the 618. You couldn't even come back to the descending triangles, uh, well, resistance now, but couldn't get above that to confirm we're creating that reversal wave heading to $900. And actually, if we do manage to get back into a weekly bull market, daily bull market, well, because obviously we're in a monthly one, but not on a weekly, a daily or four hour, one hour bull market at the moment, we're in a bear market for them. So the last the last step is turning the monthly into a bear market. But at the moment, that's not happening. Bitcoin's still above 28K. And as long as it's above 28K, we should be good for continuation, even a wick below 28K to our technical targets. We've got a head and shoulders pattern, technical target 26K, even if it gets down there, but manages to flip 28k back into support then it would be positive for the continuation and actually the bigger the dip now the bigger the rip like before this is our low you've retraced to the 050 causing that dead cat bounce and you lost the low so we need to find you your target but just look at this for a second the bigger the dip now the bigger the target but let's find you your target right now out of this um corrective phase upwards perfect so Oh, look at that for some confluence. So the most important key level was the 0618, $148. So our psychological level 150 was the key level to not break. And you can see if we zoom in now on the daily time frame, you can see crazy, atrocious wick rejections, to be honest, guys. Look at that massive shooting star. You were above the support and you closed all the way down here. You were at... $152 but closed at $132 completely rejecting it so you were above it you wanted to hold it support you lost it you, went, uh, you closed way below now it's confirmed resistance and you can see free fall mode where to the next key level this previous swing high so that's why it made sense that we're going down there you can actually see that our technical target was in between the 1414 and the 1.272 so it was this area that needed to come and be retested and we've got that now I can even drag this a little bit down for you to the 1414 you can see you actually get exact touches as resistance there so be even more accurate to have this box this area of support rather than a single specific line you can but obviously if I uh, remove this you can see you'd be like oh but you're not catching that so that's why I like areas of support and resistance and we're getting this relief rally if we can get above $111 and confirm that support we could see an impulse all the way back up to $148 but there's still that risk as you're below it to even get rejected here and then continue down putting that lower low so you might not even get to the 618 you just might stop here the FOMC might decide that as well if we are to continue down and our target out of the head and shoulders is one the 1618 sorry the target out of the head and shoulders is 70 as well as the 1618 that's what I mean so two reasons why we should be coming down to in and around $70 I'm just going to measure this larger fib from the lowest point on the quant chart to the highest point and we want to see where after this massive impulse where are we retracing to guys if you're enjoying this video if you appreciate and respect the amount of effort i'm putting into these videos please support the channel by liking and of course commenting commenting helps this channel grow so much even if it's just even if it's just like a thanks or nice video or it just even if it's a dot whatever it is it supports the channel so thank you guys for liking and subscribing and of course commenting so um yeah so look where your 618 is landing so you've had this impulse and you're correcting downwards for continuation so actually if we can now hold 70 dollars we could actually start to see some continuation but that's all on bitcoin if it wants to hold 28k of course if we were to roll over if we ignore this for now these fibs so i'm going to get rid of it if we now lose 70 dollars that is so negative look where your next targets are the two at 53 the 2.272 at 43 and the 2.414 at 39 dollars you can see this is a key level of support this is also a key level of resistance over here you can see resistance and this over here is uh some resistance over here but um, your technical target once you lose the 1618 is down here at 39 dollars however just because it's the target doesn't have to be met just like the 1618 now if we can get above the one and 150 dollars you might not see 70 dollars but until you get above 150 dollars you should technically now see $70 especially because it's a target out of the head and shoulders so that's pretty much it for today uh, we're getting this relief rally now but I just don't think it's going to last 